Yo, welcome guys. Today I want to show you how I am earning my billions to actually buy those best in slot gear, get that masterwork going. And trust me, you do need billions. Just making a reference with those pants right there. They are best in slot um, for speed sword, like greater FX damage 20%. And I have been trying to triple crit masterworking the damage on there, which is the only useful step for the speed farm. And I have already spent 1.75 billion and I have not gotten it. So trust me, you will need it. And the keyword to get like billions running regularly is actually trading it. At the moment. So maybe some people don't know it, but in Diablo 4 Season 4, there's actually trading enabled, but they did not build in an auction house. So if you're staying within the game, it's really hard to find other people to trade with, find someone to buy your items, because the only thing that you can do in-game is um, like posting it in a chat, né? and maybe someone in near you can see it. So the solution to that is actually the marketplace here. This website is um, fully safe. You can log in with your battle tech. It is run by the same people that also run the Diablo Discord. So it's not official Blizzard, but they are like somewhat associated with it and it's safe to log in. And here we are basically having an external auction house where um, the first thing you should do if you haven't done so, all the items that you have saved up and you think are valuable, you should list them here for sale. If you do want to list an item, you can just go to create listing and you just copy a screenshot of the item in here and it will automatically have all the stats there. And then you can ask for a price for the item. If you are want to set a price for the item, there's two different ways to do that. There's either say, saying a fixed amount, like let's say you want to sell it for 400 mil, because you know it's about worth that much, now you can set an exact price. If you are setting it to um, taking offers, you can either set it at zero, that would mean it would be displayed as like you are taking offers, but you could also give like um, a max that you might want to go, but you're showcasing that you're willing to sell lower. And the best way to insert the items at the moment is actually putting into taking offers and not putting a price because if you are going to marketplace items uh, many people currently filter by um, by lowest price and if you are setting any price even though it's low you will be shown below the people that just put taking offers and people tend to buy really fast so the higher up in the list you are the better it is to actually be recognized and getting your items sold then of course you want to sell your stuff right if you want to buy something from other people for example i go here to the filter the thing that you should always set up is want to buy search for sellers inserting something that you are looking for an item i would currently not recommend i think it's a waste of time Almost no one is looking into this to selling an item. They just copy paste the item listed and wait for offers. So don't waste your time with this. And um, then if, for example, if you're having a unique item, you can just choose it here. But actually the, the main way to find something is just by going to equipment type, say what you want. So I'm currently, for example, looking for an amulet. And then you can scroll all the way down where it says effects. And here you will add a group and then I am, you will say what stats you want to have on there. So for example, I am looking for an amulet with um, a greater affix of cooldown reduction. And I am looking for devouring place paired with that. I cannot afford one with greater affix of both. It might not even be for sale. But here you can see now I will be displayed the amulet where I'm getting the cooldown reduction and devouring place. I could afford that. Maybe here's like a bit of negotiation and I could reroll the, um, 
the critical strike chance here, so it's fine. This way you can find your um, your items fairly quickly. Then if you want to contact the people, you can just go here and write them a message. I would always update this part here to make it more, more personal. And um, this link, don't remove it when you want to do a custom message because that shows the seller which item you're actually talking about. And then when you're back and forward in the chat, you can actually link your battle tag. So let's go to one of my chats here, as you're seeing. Um, this is how it looks. This is how it will be displayed. So you have it here and you can go and just click that button to reveal your battle tag. So the other person can then add you and you can um, meet in game to actually fulfill the trade. Now, this is just like the base on how the website works. And now I want to go a bit more in depth about like the strategies that you can use to like find items that are worth a lot that some people maybe don't realize that they are worth that much and um, how you can scout for that and actually make a ton of money with reselling here. So for that, I would highly recommend to go to the tier list of MaxRoll. And then you should take a look at all the S and A tier builds. You basically need to know what items those builds are playing so you can see and realize when people are listing items, oh, this my, that person is maybe playing a sorcerer and the item is not good for him, but it could be good for another class. And um, people tend to have like only their own perspective on the game from the class that they are playing. There's not many people that play all five classes. So if you're getting the information here into your head from what all those five classes that are in the top tiers are doing, those items will sell for a lot of money if they are best in slot. And the next thing that you're looking out for is you want to find the items with the highest market cap. And to do that, you will check which builds use similar items so you know that there's actually two kind of um, players that are looking for that. So that will double the amount of people that are interested in it and will allow you to resell items at a faster pace and increasing your profit. And I will make just one example here. And for this um, Fireball Sorcerer, which is currently the best Sorcerer build to push um, endgame pits, so it's really popular, will go for rings with attack speed and chance to make enemies vulnerable. And if you're looking at the double swing twister bar, this one will go with uh, also attack speed and chance to make enemies vulnerable and critical strike chance. So you only have one affix off that people can roll individually if they want. And if you are finding items that work in many builds, those items are like, of course, like the most expensive one because there's so many people interested in them, but that also means you can sell them at a so much faster pace. And you will scout for those items. And then the way I do it, I set up my filters for those items and I will have one filter um, for an item that I'm scouting for in each browser. And then like just every 30 minutes, I will just refresh it and see the new offers that are coming up because I will list it to news first, and then um, I will try to negotiate with the people and get good deals. And the profit margins here are pretty insane. With the ring example that I just showed you, I actually bought one of those rings with two crater affixes for only 100 mil, and I turned it into um, one bill, so a 900 mil profit in maybe like 10, 15 minutes of work. And overall, I would say I'm currently spending like an hour actively on the site each day and like maybe five minutes for like three or four trades that I'm doing a day to log in and trade. And the profit is about 300 to 500 mil a day at the moment. And if I would actually be playing the game at the current stage for like five, six hours and grinding, my gold per hour value um, would be lower. The only way I could get like above that um, ratio is by dropping really good items myself. So yeah, I highly recommend checking it out, trading 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers.